The Vulcan Science Council has been receiving intelligence concerning the upcoming battle. It appears that you have been brought back in time to somehow interfere in the battle. Who is going to be fighting? Do you know? No Captain we don't have that information. You must not interfere no matter what you see. This is history. Historian Landover, work with the Vulcans and Science Officer to get as much information as we can. Science Officer Horns, work with the Vulcans as well. Acknowledged, Captain. I recommend that we hide behind Earth's moon on reduced power to minimize the chance of being seen. Stay back. I will kill her. Now you will do what I say. I will give you the target to fire on once it arrives. Punk, would you like to go directly to the brig, or to sick bay first to have your bruises and cuts treated? I am the one with the knife. Last chance before I cut her. Punk, have you had enough, or do you want some more? Our engineer is an expert in a form of self-defense called karate. Take him to sickbay to have his injuries treated, and then have security throw him in the brig. I will call the bridge. Well Captain, the Vulcan Science Council appreciates your cooperation. The battle is about to begin and I need to be on my own ship. Our pleasure. Good luck to you. Okay, listen up. You will do what I tell you to do. Near the end of the battle a large, arrow-shaped ship will appear. You will enter Earth orbit and destroy it. I give the orders here. No one will cooperate with you. Then I will kill all of you and do it myself. Fifteen of your minutes before I kill the first one. Engineer, I need you to tap into the bridge audio. I suspect trouble. Don't call them engineer. Just tap in. It sounds like there is a hostage situation up there. Can you send a loud noise through the communications system? Allow me five minutes to arrive at the bridge and then create a distraction. So who wants to die first? Maybe your communications officer. You do realize that your history may be adversely affected, don't you? I do owe you an explanation. You see, we came to take over your pathetic, primitive planet, but some galactic guardians moved to stop us. We were winning the battle, but they brought in the large battleship and forced us to retreat. So we will be your servants, right? That is what the strong do to the weak.
Well done, Lieutenant. We are grateful to you. Throw her in the brig. Captain, hundreds of alien spacecraft are headed for Earth. This is the captain. General quarters, general quarters. All hands man your battle stations. This is not a drill. Opinions everyone. The Corn fleet has already arrived. We are almost too late. Can we still hold them off? Between our five carriers we can launch about 120 fighters. I say attack. I think if we come at them out of the sun we will be alright. Our carriers have substantial firepower of their own. My concern is that alien warship hiding behind their moon. We cannot tell yet whose side they will be on. Have they even noticed us? Who are they? The life form on the ship appears to be a match for those on the surface, though healthier. Is it possible that they are from the future? That planet is not supposed to have any technology on it other than crude devices. I don't know. It does not make any sense. Whoever they are, they should not be there. Technologically, they are far superior to both sides. I think we should watch them but act like we don't see them. It's our final chance Admiral. Their destroyers are unlikely to engage us directly with our close range weapons trained on them, and we cannot enter the atmosphere ourselves. Request permission to launch. This may be our last opportunity to stop the Corn fleet. This planet no matter how primitive is strategically located. We fought them at Orion and lost. We fought them at Sirius and retreated. The line must be drawn here. Captain Langsford, launch fighters and engage the Corn destroyers at point blank range. Make no attempt to contact the alien warship. All hands, man your battle stations.
approaching the Earth. All ships report ready for battle. Wayne's fleet is taking a beating. We will catch their fleet in between us and pound the tar out of them. Wait. What is that? Near the moon? It is an unknown alien warship admiral. Heavy armor, electromagnetic shields, powerful weapons. What are they doing? Anything? They are watching us admiral. Full defensive posture. Tell the ships to avoid them. Have all ships to engage the enemy fleet. Captain, it's over. A large slender ship arrived and drove the others away. There is only one spaceship now. It is the Vulcans. They are offering to take us back to our own time. Secure from general quarters. Acknowledge the Vulcans and follow them back. Navigator, position report. Can you find the alien ship? Captain, we are a ways away from our own system. About one half, light year. Starfleet is calling. They want to know our status. Notify them, ship status is fully operational, no casualties. I suspect there may be a hidden intruder in the soul system. We are investigating. Get me engineering. I have a job for them. I think we have found their shield frequency. They are near the Jovian moon Io. They like to play games, so we will play by their rules. Cut power, random shield settings. Alien vessel surrender and prepare to be boarded. They are powering phasers. Lock photon torpedoes on target. Alien ship, you are badly outgunned. We don't wish to harm you. You can follow us to Earth for disposition, or die here. It's your choice. That was quite an adventure, Captain. Well done. Their agricultural areas were mostly an illusion. They do have some, but not enough to trade with. Of course, the trade deal is off anyway. They are terraforming the planet. Thanks, Admiral. I just wish we would have had more time. We could have learned so much more. Explanations were always supplied for these events. It was religion, or swamp gas I think, some devices called weather balloons and so on. Still, I suspect we are still being supplied with explanations that don't quite fit. Maybe that is the way it will always be. It was the ancient Chinese philosopher Sun Tzu who said all warfare is based on deception, but you don't have to be at war for deception to be used. You only need to see the wrong thing.